Okay, let's talk about uh, pure educational content on YouTube or is making educational videos on YouTube worth it? You know, uh, pure educational content and uh, sharing knowledge to the other people will get me less views on YouTube and video content in which I'm talking about my experience or sharing my thoughts on some subjects will get me more views. Isn't that a fact? Uh, isn't that a true? Uh, you can share your thoughts about this topic in comments down below. But first at all, uh, you need to subscribe to my channel. And second, I need to have more views and more views and more views. And is that means that I'm gonna change myself and start to talk in front of the camera about my programming experience and sharing my programming thoughts to get more views? Uh, well, at this point, I don't think so. For me, it's easier to change habits of 10,000 people that watched me than to change my own habits and to go out of my comfort zone. Of course, I'm kidding. Uh, this video, uh, which I'm now making, is a kind of reply on Eric's video. Is making videos on YouTube worth it? You can find that video in the description section of my video. Uh, I'll try to be 100% honest uh, and I will not try to spread negativity. I'm just going to say my opinion based on some facts. Uh, these facts showing me uh, that my channel is not at good shape and that <laughs> it's not uh, in the same position in which it must be. And now I'm going to talk about competition. Uh, today we have a large number of YouTube channels dedicated to make programming tutorials or talking about programming in general. For example, uh, we have Coding Face, then Program with Eric, Chris Sean, The New Boston, Chris Hoax, mm, Rosberry, Aaron in Beta, and so on. Oh, and I almost forgot. The best one here is Nevsky Programming. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, I can say for them uh, that they are my competition. Uh, for me, every other niche is competitive to all of us who are making programming tutorials. I don't know the exact numbers, uh, but suppose that average person spends few hours on YouTube platform watching various videos. One of the main goals of this niche is to try to attract that person to watch uh, this kind of videos more on YouTube and spend more time on our channels. So it's better for me and for everyone that a person spend the time watching programming videos, for example, on Eric's or Sean's or Aaron's channel, because that person will then probably come to my channel and watch my video. Also, uh, competition is helping us to make better content, 
to spend more time of making content and try to be more competitive. At some point in this video Eric said something about same old boring tutorial. He said something about same old boring tutorial. Uh, well, uh, in the process of making videos I've found on a very, very hard way uh, that a little number of people is interested in watching programming videos. Why? Uh, uh, okay, uh, let's again suppose that person who's watching videos on YouTube wants to watch YouTube after coming back from job or from school or from shopping or let's say that person uh, is tired or want to have fun and enjoy watching YouTube videos. That person doesn't want to spend five minutes watching any of my videos, for example, arrays in TypeScript, which it lasts just five minutes. First of all, to be honest, is it is boring. And second, that person needs to think and to use its brain. So it's ridiculous to watch my tutorial. And uh, because of uh, this fact, uh, that's um, that is a true fact. Uh, and because of this, uh, channels uh, like mine or Eric's are affected. Uh, I'm. Uh, this is not uh, funny, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's going to. Uh, be a little funny for you. I'm actively making programming tutorial videos on my channel last seven months uh, and I have less than 10,000 views and uh, less than 50 subscribers uh, with Eric's channel is almost the same situation. Uh, why one of the most serious guys as Eric who's making programming tutorials has also small number of views and small number of subscribers? Well, at this point he has about 3000 subscribers. But the point is... Uh, people are not so interested in learning programming and uh, watching tutorials. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it hurts a lot to have this kind of uh, channel uh, with small number of views and small number of subscribers. And on the other hand, you have channels that you consider as your colleagues' channels uh, that have more views and more subscribers uh, and we all started almost at the same time. Uh, now middle channels has about 5000 subscribers. I am currently have 45 subscribers so that is less than 1% of what they have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, also, uh, they have about uh, 3000 views per day, uh, while I'm having uh, about 125 views per day. You can see that in my statistics and that's about 4% uh, of uh, what they have. They, they have about... 3000 views per day and I'm having about three and a half thousand of views in uh, four weeks. Uh, currently I'm having 170, 180 views in last 48 hours 
uh, weekends for me are always bad. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have Eric's channel. Uh, Eric is one of the most serious people here on YouTube. Uh, but he's not getting a lot attention as other people on similar channels. Uh, I like to watch his uh, videos, but problem with uh, him is almost the same as with me. Uh, because our channels are e educationally based uh, and <clears throat> I'll be honest, it's hurt a lot uh, to have a small number of subscribers and uh, views uh, because I'm thinking uh, how to make or uh, why to make uh, a video. Uh, I'm finding out uh, it's great for me as a person to share a knowledge and to show to other people easy and quickly how uh, they can do something, how can they program something. On the other hand, I don't have a people right there interested in learning something. Uh, we can notice that our culture, our newspapers, TV, social networks and so on, they are not trying to learn us something, they are just uh, selling us informations. Uh, they give us informations, uh, they do not give us knowledge. Uh, we're uh, affected with that and we're making a habit that we're hungry for any new information, we need new informations, we need new informations, we need them. Uh, so when a person come to YouTube, uh, that person wants information uh, rather than knowledge. Uh, then again, YouTube likes when you have more comments on your video, which is ridiculous. If I'm thinking about, uh, if I'm talking about uh, JavaScript framework, uh, I will not get comments. But if I'm talking about an actress, uh, or if I'm talking about her dress in video, uh, then you'll notice then anyone won't say something about that. Uh, I will have uh, then 100 comments, I don't know, on that dress uh, is beautiful or that dress is not or anything else. So again, uh, educator is being punished by YouTube because uh, educational videos, uh, they do not have a lot of comments, few comments, 5 to 10 comments is the is the top that you will get on your channel uh, then again uh, i'm also here uh in a bad position uh, in which i need to tell you my little secret uh, i wanted to make a channel to help other people to quickly solve some programming problems uh, I've used different websites like Stack Overflow and so on uh, to find out general problems for example for people who want to learn Python programming language. And on Stack Overflow you can find that an interesting topic has more than 15,000 views. So I'm thinking people are interested in uh, solving this problem I can make two minutes long video in which I'll explain them how to solve that problem they don't need to spend 15 minutes on stack overflow reading all comments they can find a solution on my channel uh, but the problem is that 
15,000 views on that topic on Stack Overflow seems to be 5 to 10 views on my videos covering the exact same topic which is ridiculous and which is very funny uh, because I, I'm making uh, videos covering uh, very interesting programming topics in less than two minutes and then again I'm having just five to ten views uh, then I, I want to talk about a topic they, that I will call it number one uh, because uh, no one talks about it uh, we're facing a problem uh, that tutorials which are obsolete and very old are still on the top positions on YouTube that's ridiculous uh, that's a big problem problem for everyone who makes uh, for, for uh, not just for the people who makes tutorials but also for people who, who watch them so for everyone uh, it is a big problem and no one is talking seriously about it uh, I have at least 50 videos that need to be in the first three or the first five searching results on the YouTube but on the other hand you have obsolete videos uh, all five six seven eight years on the top five of searching results and my videos on the other hand are let's say sandboxed you can't find them anywhere they are hidden on your tube uh, like they uh, don't exist at all uh, I don't know why is this happening uh, but that's very discouraging for a guy who wants to make programming tutorials also in the top five uh, searching results uh, you can get as results various videos from large channels but in uh, these videos you can't find anything relevant a and my uh, and some other valuable and relevant videos are sandboxed again no one can find them that's a pretty serious topic but I don't see that anyone else talks about it it's not good for community to uh, have on the top five searching results tutorials that they are not relevant or that they are five six seven eight, eight years old uh, I I'm thinking that uh, I I need uh, to back to uh, the main topic uh, for me w one of the biggest question of this video is Eric better than a lot of uh, is Eric's channel better than a lot of other YouTube channels uh, yes it is uh, but simply the problem is uh, because he's focused on education uh, and people on YouTube they uh, want to hear information and they want to uh, they uh, they do not want to learn something so he's a great educator but unfortunately people they do not want to be educated uh, and uh, finally uh, is making educational videos worth it uh, well, at this point, uh, my opinion is that it's not worth, uh, but it's worth working on it to worth it something later. Uh, we need to stand up and defend our community and to show to other people that it's better to learn something uh, than to 
to watch YouTube videos for fun or for getting uh, non-valuable information. Uh, uh, and finally, we have two uh, solutions to solve these problems. We have two options. Uh, first one is to make more people get interested in learning programming and watching our tutorials. And that's my winning strategy. Uh, and second option uh, is to uh, go with the flow and start making videos in which I'm going to talk about uh, my experience and sharing my thoughts rather than making programming tutorials. And that's my losing strategy. That means I'm going to be outside my comfort zone. Uh, I'll need to show to you my pretty beautiful face <laughs> I'm kidding uh, and uh, uh, and I'll be then I don't know uh, some kind of preacher uh, I want to avoid all this stuff uh, so people uh, you need to start watching my tutorials uh, not just my tutorials but also Eric's tutorials and tutorials of other developers here on the YouTube platform uh, and you need to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see my face or if you want me to see making uh, videos in which I'm talking something else uh, than making programming tutorials please let me know down below in the comment section uh, that's all for now thanks for watching see you in the next video bye